Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a great video for you. So you know how everyone on social media tells you just to start. So today we're going to be talking about the bare minimum things you need when it comes to starting a hair business. So if you don't know if a hair business is for you, you want to just test things out, or you've never sold anything online and you just want to make sure that if you do put something out, people are going to buy it. So when it comes to the hair business, competition can be steep and very intimidating, but I'm going to help y'all out today with some of the very basic things that you need to get started. Number one is something that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to starting their hair business. A lot of people are talking about logos, branding, vendors, but the first thing you need, because this is going to be very crucial when it comes to sales and marketing, you need a model for your hair business. And the reason I'm putting this as number one, as the very basic thing that you need is because when it comes time to sell your hair, who's actually going to be the face of your business is it going to be an influencer so you know how when people get their hair done we see them spin around in the chair the hair is getting flat iron who is going to be your face is it going to be somebody younger older is it are they going to be hip which they do need to be a little hip or a little i'm not even saying they have to be really cute but just someone who you know a lot of people like they're going to like the pictures they're going to like the hair someone who's well put together because when it comes to selling hair gone are the days when you can just upload vendor pictures of bundles or you can just hop on there and dangle some hair people aren't buying that no more competition is way too steep for that so you need to have someone whether it's yourself your best friend you have an actual hair model and this person needs to be someone who's very consistent that they can always produce content for you that's why i always recommend that if you can do it yourself especially starting off very bare minimum start off with yourself you get your hair done you get your makeup done better yet show up to your hair appointment with your makeup already done so you can do the behind the scenes of them installing your hair you can show them washing your hair flat ironing your hair show the before and after look show how you feel when you get your hair extensions done so number one you definitely need a model and another thing is that you want your model model comfortable on camera. So that's what our TikToks and our reels. So you want to make sure that they can do that type of content because that content is going to go the furthest or even if they can even do YouTube videos with the hair. So number one, would well, you need a model? Now that you have a model, let's talk about how you're actually going to sell the hair. So if you have the model, the model was already has the hair in their head let's talk about your vendor nine times out of ten you probably already have a vendor or people are giving out vendors for free online which you can just do a quick search on youtube you can do a search on tiktok everyone is giving out their vendors for free so the bare minimum you do need a vendor so that vendor can be someone who's in china someone who's local in your town or even there's a lot of Chinese spots, like especially if you live in Atlanta, New York, Houston, where you can just walk in, purchase wholesale hair, walk out, sell it to your customers. So you do need a vendor, but make sure you have that model first so you can actually sell the hair because having a vendor is pointless if you can't actually sell the product. You need to make sure you're focused on your sales and your marketing because a lot of the times when you see a lot of these hair companies, a lot of the times they have bad reviews and the reason that they can still sell the hair with all of those bad reviews is because the model influencer or whoever they're using looks very good and they're selling the life out of that hair. So you want to create the same thing for your business now that you have a vendor. So and some of the things that I'm going to talk about with the vendor is you can actually have a vendor where you purchase, where you actually purchase the hair and then ship it out to your customer or you can go the drop shipping way either way is fine it just depends on how you want to start bare minimum you can do drop shipping but first you make sure you always test out the hair before you sell it so that's number two test out the hair before you sell it so you can make sure that your company actually has good hair so if you go to drop shipping method you know that when they get their hair they're actually going to like the hair and it's going to be like the hair in the model because you don't want one of those situations where people and people are going to probably say this regardless but people always say oh the model has the best hair or the influencers get the best hair so make sure you're testing out that vendor to make sure that the hair is going to match the quality that you're actually promoting number three set up those social media pages this is where you're going to post all of your content so on your social media pages your profile picture can be a picture of an actual human you don't need a picture of your logo on there you can have an actual human so people actually feel like it's a real person that they're talking to and it's not just a business voice you need an actual human as your profile picture 
so they can see it see the hair in the picture click that so you have your social media pages if you're selling hair i recommend TikTok for sure and Instagram and then also YouTube. So those are going to be your social media platforms where you're posting your content. Now, people see your model, they like the hair, they're on your social media page where the content is being posted. Now they want to actually purchase the hair. You need a payment processor. Your payment processors, you can have an actual website, but bare minimum, you need a PayPal account. So you can even have it set up to where, and like I'm saying, this is bare minimum because what you're trying to do is make sure that you can sell hair before you invest a ton of money into your hair business. So you need a payment processor. So that could be PayPal, it could be Stripe, just someone who's gonna collect the payments for you. So you can do this two ways. Starting off, if you want people to DM you, they can DM you, you set up the order there, collect the payment information, send them a PayPal invoice, a Stripe invoice, however you want to send the invoice, send that out to them, get their shipping information. When you ship out the hair, make sure you have the tracking information and ship it out. But if you do want to go the cheap bare minimum route for a website, you can create your own or you can get a pre-made website template from a website like Etsy. So those are going to be the ones where you can get a tip template for like $50. And these are going to be the ones that you, you're just using this template to test out if you can actually sell hair, because eventually you're going to want to have a photo shoot and get all of your own brand and put on this website. But this is just a bare. I want to keep reiterating that this is just a bare minimum video. A bare minimum of what you need to first start selling hair. After you have your website or some type of link in the bio to actually collect the payment, let's talk about shipping. So for shipping, what you're gonna need is poly mailers. And you can get this from Amazon in your brand colors, or you can go to USPS and you can get the free shipping bags that they have, but it's actually gonna be cheaper to ship it this way. And if you don't have a printer, which I'm, I am assuming that you have a cell phone, so with your cell phone, what you're going to want to do is go down to the post office. If you have one of these, they can weigh it for you and you can write out where you're sending it to. Or if you use the USPS method, then they can put the information in for you and even print you out a label. Either way is fine, but bare minimum, you need to be able to have something to ship out your orders. So you need to think about, are you gonna have poly mailers? Another thing that I have to put my hair into is just some bags. Mine does have my logo on it, but if you wanna just get some plain bags that you can send out your hair in, sometimes your vendor will supply them for you, or you can hop on Amazon and just get some satin bags that you can send the hair out in. The next thing we're gonna talk about is your logo and your branding. So you wanna make sure you have just a clean logo. So it can be a clean basic logo, like mine is just a text logo. It has my brand colors and it has my name. Now when picking your name, you wanna pick something simple, something that represents your brand, something that represents you, but just a name to start out because you can always rebrand. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is just a bare minimum video, but you do wanna have your brand name, your brand colors. So that way, when it, if you are ordering poly mailers, they can match your brand colors. And now I'm gonna just talk about some extra things that you can have that'll make things a lot easier. I recommend everybody have samples. So these are your samples. So if you want to create extra content, whether you're bleaching knots, if you want to do some coloring with the bundle, whatever you want to do, just make sure you have samples on hand for yourself. Or if you're talking to people in person and they want to touch the hair that they're going to be getting, just have some samples on hand. This is perfect for the ladies who do the pop-up shops. So even if you do do a pop-up shop and you don't have hair on hand, you can have them come touch the bundle, see if they'll like to purchase it, and then it'll arrive in three to five days or however long the shipping is for your vendor. Then the next thing I'm going to say is, so with your cell phone, if you want to create good content, you need to have good lighting. Some people might not have a ring light, but bare minimum, this lighting will do you justice. So I'm going to turn it on for you so you can just see how bright it is, what exactly it looks like. And the way you'll do that, you'll just connect it to your phone like this. And if you're doing selfies for yourself, you're just pointing at yourself, take your pictures, do your videos. Or if it's somebody else that you're filming content of, you're going to put the light on them and then it's going to be this way. So that way you're getting the best quality content that you can get with your cell phone in this light. Now, let's talk about what photo app, photo editing apps you can use to edit your content. If it's videos, you can use CapCut. If you need to create anything, I recommend Canva. I have the paid version. There's a lot of options on the free version, but 
for sure you need Canva. With Canva, bare minimum, you can create your logo, you can create your business cards, you can do a price list, you can do flyers, you can do so much stuff on Canva. So I recommend downloading Canva, checking it out, see what you can play with as far as designs. I also recommend you check out the site Etsy. So Etsy is gonna have all your pre-made templates. If you don't wanna create anything by yourself in Canva, you can go to Etsy, get some templates, and there, and then you can also edit them in Canva so you can switch it up, put everything in your brand colors, put everything in your font, so that way your brand looks seamless across the board. So that's Etsy, and let's talk about some photo editing apps. So the top two that people use is Face App and Facetune. So if you're editing your pictures or if you have a mannequin like this and you wanna give her some makeup, cause you know how a lot of times you'll see people with the smiling mannequins, they're using Face App to create that effect so if you want to do the same thing where if you have a wig and you want to slap it on a mannequin you want to do something like this for your content like let's say you want to you have a wig and you want to do a bunch of different styles you might want to curl it you might want to straighten it you might want to crimp it but you want to switch the makeup on the mannequin you can use face app they can have different face app and facetune you can change the makeup on the mannequin change the facial expression the smile the hair color you can do a lot of things with those photo editing apps so that's my spill of what you bare minimum need to start a hair business. And when I say just start, these are for those people who literally just want to start. They want to get their feet a little wet, see if they can actually sell the hair, see if their audience is actually interested in it. And they don't want to spend a lot of money out the gate because you never know if something is going to be right for you. So you're just getting your feet wet, testing out what it is like to create content for your business actually set up different systems for your business this is going to be your very basic start so i hope you've enjoyed this video today don't forget to subscribe to me on my youtube channel follow me on all my social media channels i'm destiny adams on pretty much everything and if you like videos like this let me know in the comment section of some more bare minimum businesses that you want to hear about and yeah stay tuned for the next video peace